I want to see those hearts, so we're going to see those hearts today, and we are going to talk about the common misconceptions of Class D, there's different types of fire extinguishers, and who's going to teach us to us today? We have Ron. <laughs> hey, Ron. Hello. So what are we learning? Alright, we're going to talk about Class D fire extinguishers. They're mostly used to put out metal fires, um, such as like magnesium, um, there's kind of two different kinds of class D fire extinguishers. I mean, there's the copper, uh, which uh, which is more expensive. Um, the least, the less expensive has sodium chloride in it, uh, but that's you know where it doesn't involve like lithium uh, metal or lithium containing batteries, uh, alloys, chemicals, etc. It's quite heavy. Some of them get a wheel cart. <laughs> you can get a wheel cart with them, and uh, it makes it easier to, to dolly around. But usually, you'll you'll see them around machine shops and stuff. No good. What's no good? Someone said no good. I don't know. No good. What? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Be some more specific. Yeah, this is very good. If you are in what kind of field would you have this kind of fire extinguisher? A machine shop. A machine. Where you're grinding shop. metals. Grinding, uh, welding? Grinding, eh, it's possible. Okay. You'll see many in welding shops, but mostly in machine shops. Where they're machining magnesium or alloys. How much do they come? Are they always but, yellow like this? Yes, they always come in yellow, but you can paint it whatever color you want. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't paint over the label, you can paint it whatever color you want. Oh, okay. And are there different kinds of Class D? Class D really only comes in one size, it's 30 pounds. Our fire department says hi. 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 <laughs> and then it has a special soft flow nozzle to make it spread like it's supposed to. It's got a nozzle tip in there, it's different. Oh, okay. So it shoots out to the sides instead of direct. Fire department. Okay, do you have any other questions? It ruins visual inspection, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Actually, there. Are, I, I don't. I've never read a code that says the fire extinguisher has to be red. I mean, there's stainless steel ones out there. There's white ones. There's yellow ones. As long as you're not painting over the label or uh, d d defacing it in any way, you could paint it any color you wanted over the base coat, over the base uh, actual factory paint. Great question. So I hope that answers that. And so like we said, we have the Class D. Does it need a hand cart? A hand cart would be best. It is quite heavy. Okay. Actually, it's 30 pounds of chemical. Uh, gross weight is 59 pounds, 3 ounces. No, fi yeah, 59. All right, so just so everyone's on the same page, what it, what's a you know, little synopsis of the Class Syn D? Syn synopsis? Yeah, synopsis. <laughs> Let's bring it all together. Okay, unless you're uh, unless you're shaving metal uh, alloys, magnesium, uh, dealing with lithium, li lithium batteries, uh, you really wouldn't need this fire extinguisher. It's very it's a special fire extinguisher. Um, but like anything, I would always research it and what you're cutting and what you're doing to make sure that you get the proper fire equipment. Yes, and or they can give us a call. And or give us a call. Give me a call, and I'll help them with any questions. They